do, do. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Code 45 Show. And today is a beautiful Saturday, baby, baby. Let's go. Anyways, it's a beautiful Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow we get to watch, praise the Lord. But anyways, today I'm making a video about Michael. This is the final one. He he physically drains the life out of you. Michael Green, keep you on a camera physically. Yes, I'm saying it right here firsthand. Right in front of y'all's faces. Physically, and I mean physically drains the ever living life out of you. And he's and I'm gonna say this right here, right now. All y'all watching this video, Michael is a manipulator, okay? Can you guys say, say that with me? Michael, I gotta put this in here, my phone's gonna charge, is a manipulator. You got that? Manipulator. Come on, you guys can say along with me. Michael is a manipulator. Lay poor. Is it true? Yes. He can lie all he wants. He can lie through his dang teeth because that's all he's been doing. He's been lying to his fans, lying to everybody, pretty much. You think he's all. Yeah, that was like hot dogs. I'm burning like hot dogs and burgers. But Michael Green. As a manipulator. It's true. It's true. He's coddling. He's a con artist. He's this. He's that. He is manipulating all you guys. And he got me. He got me in the prank video. But I'm sorry for Bridget, man. I feel so bad for Bridget. I truly do. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. It's a prank. It's a prank. But she doesn't take really pranks lightly. And I feel bad for every time. The first prank, what was it? Oh, the IRS. Oh, you're going to jail. She's crying her eyes out. And then the last one, oh, he had a heart attack. He's like, I winked at you. And she's bawling her eyes. And the one when he's in, a, what was it, VidCon, right? And uh, she and she's like, um, she's like, yeah, I got drunk. And I found another girl. I'm with somebody else. She was bawling her eyes out. I don't care that if they fake that or not. But I feel bad for Bridget. I don't know why in his right mind he would do that. And she's pregnant. If she wasn't pregnant or not, it doesn't matter. You do not do that as a person. And that's a person, that's a guy you. <sighs> calm down, Cole, calm down. That's a guy you follow, that's a guy you look up to as a person. It doesn't matter if she's pregnant or not. I I can care less, you know, if she's pregnant or not. I'm going to say something. You guys want, you guys want to, his address? Go flood, it, go flood his house. Go, I don't care. You guys can shut down my YouTube channel. I'm done talking about this guy. But y'all, go, go flood hit, go flood his um, his um, what do you call that? Oh man, his house. His address is one four two, Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. I even put it on one of his Instagram or his Instagram posts and replied back, dude. You even Googled it too? Why are you putting my freaking address there? Well, I want I want them to know. I want them kind of con artist kind of person to know what your address and if you go if you google it on google maps it's blurred out so there must be something going on they don't want to show it and also i found kimberly's address we're not going to get that away because i like kimberly and all them but if you look up their addresses the only one that shows on google maps is um anger grandpa's address and you can look it up i think it's called 104 dorn or dean road or dorn road or dorn drive or dorn something dean drive or something like that somewhere south carolina that one you can see. But if you type in Kimberly's address, it's only in New York. I forgot what it's called. Kimberly's address or Michael's address, they're all blurred out. I wonder why they did that. They probably told Google, or oh, don't show my address this and that, because people started following them. But yeah, those are the two addresses. If you look on Michael's address, it's blurred out. If you look on Google Maps, you can like search in and see their cars and everything on the front porch. You can't see that. But his address is 142. Yes, 142 Harvest Way. Some of South Carolina. How did I find this out? I did not look it up. Charlie Green. I follow Charlie Green. I'm throwing Charlie Green on the bus, but he put something about Michael and someone was like, 
Or something, someone leaked this, someone leaked address, so somebody put it up. 142 Harvest, blank, blank, blank. I'm like, let me look it up. 142 Harvest, somebody was like a liner, and it came up. So, I did not Google it or nothing. I looked it up from somebody's post, or from Charlie Gates post something in the comments. Running his comment section saying it was 142, blah, blah, blah. So it was 142 Harvest Way, Summer of South Carolina. Go to his house. Do whatever you got to do. Let's shut this guy down off YouTube and just have him stick to his guns and go to, uh, what's it called? Story Fire. Story Fire is a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. It's a shit show. Excuse my language. I take that back. I should not, I'm not, I don't, I'm trying not to curse. But it is. I, I've been hearing a lot of bad things about it. They're trying to think like, oh, we're going to be the big tough guys to take over YouTube. It's not going to happen. YouTube's always in a Trump story fire, Trump Vimeo, all those sites, whatever. They're going to trouble them because they have the money. They're bigger. Yeah, you have a guy. What, what's his name? Brian Spitz or whatever. He's the guy who was started this thing. It's, yeah, you have one big guy. You have freaking YouTube. That's basically the whole thing is Google. Google probably runs it all. Google's probably one of the biggest people out there that makes money besides Microsoft and all of them with uh with Bill Gates and all that, but, you know, Susan Wachiski makes bank, okay, and you think you're going to freaking try to outdo, outdo YouTube with Storyfire, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, you can keep a platform up, but it's not going to happen, because what, Brian Spitz and who else run this thing, yeah, if it's not a billionaire backup person or anything like that, or anybody who has a lot of money, it's not going to work out, look, 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 look at AEW, he have a billion dollar backup person, the guy, Tony Khan, he runs, he's the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars football team, owner, and I think manager or whatever, or whatever, something for a Fulham, Fulham, Fulham or Fullerham, whatever, English Premier League soccer team, and, he, and he's CEO and president of AEW, so this guy's a billionaire, you're not Vance, if you're not Vance, if you're not Bill Gates, if you're not any of those guys, you know how those, those backup person, it's not going to work out, I'm just throwing that out there. Throwing that out there. You could try to beat it. It's not going to work. Every, everybody try to beat these other leagues. Look, look at the Lions of American Football League. Tried to. He said they weren't going to They weren't gonna compete. He's like, I'm not going to compete with the with the NFL. We're just our own developmental league. And look at this. It's like they tried to compete or whatever. It failed. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. And referring back to Michael, he's all about the money. He's a manipulator. He manipulates you guys for money. Bridget, go back in the videos talking about his fans, talking about the baby registry. She said, I feel like a bad person doing this. Michael's like, go ahead. Look at my, go to Social Blade, type it, can be out of camera. Look how much money he makes and tell me he's not believing it. There's guys, guys, gals, whatever, men, women, teenagers, kids that work at fast food or guys and girls that work at a, uh, a desk job or retail or restaurant, whatever have you, working nine to five, going out in the community, Talking with their mouths, human communication. I bet you some might might on YouTube, but basically half of those people I can tell you right now go out and they realize use their mouth talk to the community. They don't pick up a camera and talk behind the camera and da, da, da. that's what Michael does. Michael doesn't have really human interaction. Yeah, he works with Paul Heyman, but I bet you he he probably skypes with Paul Heyman, does all his work right there. He doesn't barely leave the house. He doesn't have interaction in the real life with a real job because this is YouTube. Anybody can pick a camp. Pick up a camera, put up, put videos up, and get a good title and edit. You can YouTube video how to how to basically edit a video, or I could take a class and I took a class on it. But you can learn how to basically edit a video on YouTube. It's not hard. It's not easy. It's not rocket science. You can basically just get whatever Adobe Premiere Pro or any kind of Final Cut Pro, whatever you want to use, and edit a video and get a following. It's not hard. That's how Michael makes his money. But he made it off his father. If it wasn't for his father. Michael wouldn't make this money. Trust me on that. Yeah, he might rely on Paul Heyman paying him a couple bucks, whatever have you. But if it wasn't for his dad being mad, doing all this, he would not make all this money he did. And he's and he's con artisting you guys. He's taking all your money. Your 9 to 5 job you work 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Or maybe you might quit throughout the 365 days a year and go to another job. All the hard money you work, you give him the money. Or he has all the money to buy to buy all this baby stuff. He can't even put up a crib, can't even put up nothing. That's what kind of father he is. And I can't wait when he puts up a he didn't utilize like the like you like they told like you told him, Oh, you utilize your dad for views. Now you're gonna utilize your kid for views. You're gonna make jokes about President saying, Michael change the diaper, do this and make a funny joke. Oh change the change the diaper, cl clean his butt, cause there's poop on it, blah blah blah. 
They're gonna utilize that so many times about changing that. They're gonna make like a thousand videos, just flooded YouTube of Michael changing the diaper, and doing pranks and jokes about it. Oh my! He's be like, "Oh, Bridget smells." Blah blah blah. They're gonna. They're gonna. Oh man, the baby's gonna poop in the diaper. He has to change it. He's gonna like not do it. Oh, I don't want to change the baby's diaper. Or hold, plug his nose, all that, and he's just gonna utilize that. He's gonna utilize that. They're going to be at home, right? They're going to like, oh, we need to hire a babysitter because we can't take care of this kid because we're going to be at home editing videos, playing video games, eating food, eating fast food while the baby's in the house and we can't take care of it because our lives are so busy, which you guys barely go out besides going to the movies, going to eat, or going to see Jennifer. That's all you do. Or may, Oh, yeah, go to the grocery store. That's all you do. Your lives are just so boring. I hate to have your lives because it's so boring. And then the video... Oh, it, it, and this prank video was so fake. I know the videos are fake. We knew it for a long time. This video proved that it was super staged and super fake. All of a sudden, all I'm going to put this IRS tax thing in the mail. Oh, Bridget's going to pretend to drive up to the house. Oh, wait, stop. Get the mail. Like, you haven't seen in all the videos her getting the mail. Never once, ever, I think we have seen a video ever get the mail. Until she finally gets the mail right. Oh, and all this and that. Michael has... It's so fake. We know it's fake. I'm just saying it's more fake. That was the fakest. That proved to them how fake it was. Bridget getting the mail all of a sudden because the IRS being... Oh, let's go check the mail. Let's pretend to come in the house from probably getting fast food or just pretending. Oh, let's start from the house and come in like we really went somewhere, which you guys probably didn't. And get the mail and open it up. It's so fake. Oh, let's call Tina over to talk to her about you and Jennifer, but it really... It was just to prank Tina. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Pr Bridget's water broke. That was the title of the video. Bridget's water broke. And it wasn't even that. It was about pranking. Dude, it's enough. It's enough. And he was freaking out. Oh my god. Get the diapers. Get the diapers. See? See what I mean? The kind of person he is. And he's telling Tina how to drive. And he doesn't know how to drive. And Tina, back it up. Dude. And she's like, shut up, fat boy. You don't even know how to drive yet. And she's telling her how to drive this big old car. Rushing to the hospital. What do you do? Freaking... Bridget's freaking hyperventilating. <sighs> How to calm her down. Michael's going to be the most panicky guy. Oh, man. It's going to be the worst. See him in the labor room. I know he's probably not going to film her getting labor, but her in the car probably filming. Her freaking out. What do I do? What do I do? Put the camera away at the time. Don't film. You're going to probably have Uber or have Sydney spend the night. Take over. Get up, Michael. Get up. I don't want to get up. I got to go to the hospital. Bring the diaper. Bring the... Freaking rushing out of the door because her water broke. Rushing out of the door, this and that. And it's just. He's going to be the worst. I, I feel like he's going to be the worst parent. I bet y'all think he's going to be the greatest parent. He's lazy. He doesn't do manly work. He doesn't do the handyman work. He sits there behind the keyboard. He's a keyboard warrior. He's a freaking cyber bully. He utilizes you all for money. I never gave him once my money for that baby registry. He has his own money to buy this stuff. But he has you guys buy it as he has all the money. He probably makes more money than you guys that bought stuff on the baby registry. Just saying. Unless you work a really good 9 to 5 job that pays like $15 an hour or more than that, then yes. But he makes probably more than what all of us do talking about this guy on YouTube. He probably doesn't make millions, but he makes enough where you can afford 200 stuff worth that you guys got. And you guys bought, you guys got 200 stuff on the Bay Registry. He could have bought that all himself with all the money he makes, but no. He wants to take all you guys' 9 to 5 job, 7 days a week, 35 days a year, money that you make from working for the man. Because he doesn't work for the man. He does not work for Susan Wojcicki. He thinks he does. Oh, I work for Susan YouTube. Da -da 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 -da. I'm getting screwed. Because you, you can't go out in the real world and talk to human interaction, get a job, work behind the computer. You can do a job where you go to an office and, and edit videos for some company. You can do that. But no, you rather be at home, stuff your face with fast food, everything. And you making grandpa's with a trailer park pizza wasn't even close. It looked like grandpa had like sausage and like mushrooms and stuff. All you do is put pepperoni cheese and freaking freaking biscuits. How hard is that? Grandpa put like, I don't know, like sausage or whatever it was, bacon, all this and that, and mushrooms. You said, oh, this is grandpa. Even, even freaking Jennifer said this is horrible because it wasn't even close to grandpa. The grandpa stays way, but I could tell he added more stuff to you. Those are just pepperoni cheese and biscuits. You can't afford to get more stuff. It's embarrassing. It's sad. What kind of person relies on his fans to get him baby stuff where he has all this money to get baby stuff and he doesn't want to. And you think that's a kind of a father? That's what kind of a good father he is? 
that he can't buy his kid baby stuff? Wow, he bought... I don't think he even bought the kid the crib and stuff. I bet you it was Bridget who bought it. Because he didn't know... What is this? A crib? He didn't even know a crib was coming. And he couldn't put it up. He had to fly Jennifer... Or Jennifer... Kimberly out here. I bet you Kimberly had other stuff to do with her life and Syracuse with her kids. But fly out here just to put up a crib where the cribs come with freaking instructions. And how to paint a wall. Yeah, Doug's... Oh, Doug's. Cindy's boyfriend... Kimberly, to set up a crib and paint the wall. You could have put the crib up. You can YouTube how to paint a wall. It's not hard. Put some blue tape around the sides, whatever. Have you start painting. Put a couple coats, two or whatever. Two coats or whatever. And that's it. And let it dry. And then put up a crib. is isn't, isn't hard. And to put a diaper changing thingy isn't hard either. You're probably one of the worst fathers I've seen. And you're not going to be like Roman Atwood. If you think you're going to vlog and be like, I'm the cool dad, all this. Like like Roman Atwood. You're not even close to Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood knocks you out of the park. At least I bet you Roman, I don't know how to put up a crib, know how to do this and that for their kid. You do not. I bet you Roman Outward is a hell of a lot. If you're trying to be with Roman Outward and all these other dads on YouTube are a hell of a lot better than you are. For sure. Ten times better than you are. And, and then this whole thing about whatever they call him 550 or whatever his name is, Isaac. It doesn't look like his, he changed his... He, he did it for the video. He changed the contact to clean up guy, but once you look at the video, it said Isaac on it. Supposedly Isaac went is in jail, but it didn't look like in the video, not not in his uh, prank video. It didn't look like he was in jail, cause he talked to, he talked to Michael. I bet you Michael bailed him out, cause Isaac think he has money, cause Isaac makes a, a boatload of money on YouTube. Not even close. I bet you the people who bought the bought stuff for the baby versus that work nine to five, three days right a year, seven days a week, make more money than you do. Freaking um, Isaac, cause Michael pays you. You're Michael's cleanup guy. You're Michael's guy. You're Mi you're Michael's. Uh, I don't want to say it, but the B word. You are. You do everything for Michael. You you you're a coddler. You coddle Michael. Oh, give me money because I can't afford it. Oh, I beat my wife and then my kids think they still love me because I beat my wife. Because your kids probably haven't hit the dose of reality yet. There. What's your name? Five fifty. And you can make a video all about me. I don't care. I'm a fat guy. Well, well, I could bet you this. I weigh less than you and Michael combined. Yes, I'm a fat guy. I probably weigh like 200 something pounds. Michael's probably almost 500. You're probably almost about 600. You should be on the show, My 600 Pound Life. I can see you. You're trying to be all cool. Oh, I got this cool hat on, these cool freaking Ray Bands, and look at my fat, fat chin. Hey, guys. It's called Hit the Gym, buddy. Ten, ten, what was it, $10 a month for Planet Fitness? I don't care. I go to the gym every single day. I went Monday through Friday. I'm, I didn't go today because I want to take a break. But I go Monday through Friday, every single day, for at least two hours. And you guys sit there behind the keyboard, be cyber bullies. And, and you guys are proud about that? You got nothing coming. What's the song by Molly Crew? You got another thing coming. No, that's not Molly Crew. I think it's Scorpion. You got another thing coming. And then Michael wears freaking Yankees hats, wrestling shirts, and rock. Oh, yeah, when did you start wearing rock t-shirts? Oh, wait, he copied his brother Charlie because Charlie wears all these rock t-shirts. Also, no, let me wear rock t-shirts now. And look at Bridget wearing wrestling shirts. I love wrestling. I wear wrestling shirts, too. I wear rock t-shirts. Look, I'm wearing a Blink-182 shirt. I wear rock t-shirts, but it's a known time and a point to grow up. Yes, I still watch wrestling. I still like rock and roll, all this. Uh, yeah, we both like wrestling. I don't dish you on you liking wrestling. In combat sports. I'm the same. I'm with you, buddy. I love combat sports. You know. But, yeah, oh, man. You just act like a child. There's people who like wrestling that are just not childlike. You can like wrestling without being childlike. You can like MMA, boxing, whatever, without being a child. Childlike. You still have that childlike mentality. If y'all don't... Y'all can't tell or see it, y'all better grow up. Because all you people who watch these videos... Probably haven't had a dose of reality that hit you in the head yet. Once you have that feel, once life kicks you in the you know what, the butt, and you get back up, then you know what life is all about. Because all you guys haven't hit the dose of reality. All you kids, all you little ones, all you freaking middle schoolers, high schoolers that watch these kids, all you adults that should know, that watch this video, that that know reality hit you already, but you, you just haven't embraced it yet. <laughs> Y'all got to open up your eyes, smell the roses, because where you guys... Whew, whew, I feel bad for Bridget. 
I feel bad for everybody watching because if it wasn't for Michael's money, you think Bridget would have still be with Michael? I don't know. But if she if she did, wow, that's sad because if I was Bridget and Michael didn't have money, I would have left his that left his you know what a long time. Excuse my language, about to say the a word. Left his you know what a long time ago. I would have took my eyes off. You went to college. You you probably got some degree or certificate. I would have used whatever you had, all that degree and college stuff, and actually got a real job in real life and just have him be by himself. If it wasn't for his dad and all that, he would have made the money. If it wasn't, maybe Paul Heyman pays him a, a decent amount, but probably not, I don't know how much Paul Heyman pays him, to be honest. To, what did he do, web design or create his website, whatever have you, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Paul Heyman can give Michael praise all he wants. Oh, he's the greatest guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, but when you see him in real life, he still acts like a child, Paul. Wake up, Paul. Wake up. Just because he's your guy, he works for you, he does whatever, edits videos for you, or does web design for you, or whatever it has you, makes you a website, whatever, doesn't mean he's still a good guy. He's a child. He's having a kid. You could probably wish him good luck for the kid. But he's a child. He's a child. You can, you, If you can't tell right now, he's a child. There's... there's a point in time, there's a there's an a port, there's a point in time where you have to grow up, and Michael has not grown up yet, and he's becoming a father. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see my daughter. And he's saying, "Oh, he my my dog has cancer. Well, I don't see no cancer. I might be blind, but I don't see no cancer. He's utilizing the dog for views. You just." He's just running out of content right after utilizing a dog because suppose he has cancer. Where's the cancer on the dog? I'm also blind. I have a dog. She doesn't have cancer. She's still alive. She's still kicking. She's probably old. She has grays on her. But. Well, I don't see no cancer on the dog. You made two videos of the dog. Where's the cancer? Yeah, Because you don't get take care of the damn dogs. You don't. If you can't take care of your dog, that that shows to you as a father and Bridget as a parent that you can't take care of the dang kid. It truly does. You know? I feed my dog. I give my dog water all the time. I take her for walks. I bathe the dog. When I ever see you guys wash your dogs, feed your dogs on camera, do any of that. Oh, wait. You don't. You don't take care of the dogs. They have cancer. He's letting them just rot to death. Look at, look at this. this is my dog's water bowl and food. I feed my dog every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I never see once guys feed the dog, take care of the dog, wash the dog. You let the dogs roam around, and you post pictures about your dog like you really care. You don't care. If you would care about your dog, they wouldn't have cancer. If you care about your dog, they wouldn't die. If you just properly take care of your kid, your dog. If you can take care of a dog, you can take care of a kid. If you can't take care of a dog, you can't take care of a dang kid. You're gonna let you're gonna brush the kid off to the side. I, it's just mind-boggling to me that I don't know. It's just very really mind-boggling, right? There's my dog. Oh, I say hello. That's my dog. I take care of my dog. I wash my dog. I feed my dog. I do everything for my dog. If I can take care of a dog and take care of my family, feed my family, do this and that. If I can cook, do all this for my family, clean the house because. You cleaning the house is like, whew, it's like a freaking, I don't know. It's bad. Watching you clean the house, you're the most laziest human being on planet Earth, on this Earth. You can't do anything. You walk, walk, you have to go on your hands and knees to wipe up the dang milk spill and the dang, and the dang, what's it called? The prank video? It's called using towels. Not paper towels. You waste paper towels and Bridget throws you the big towel. And all you do is take the big towel and wipe it. You, you, you're dumb. You're lazy. You can't do nothing. I'm sorry. Yeah, you could probably play a video game. You could probably make a uh, make a website, whatever have you. You could probably edit a good video. That's all, you, that's all you're good for. You can't take care of a damn dog. If your dog has cancer and your dog's life is about to be, like, done for it, then you think you can take care of your daughter that's about to come soon? If you... And you're freaking panicking because Bridget, in the prank video, supposedly, I know it's fake, she didn't break her water. Breaking your water and you're freaking out and you're home. Oh, get the diaper, get the diaper. You don't get a diaper bag. You don't get diapers. You get the diaper bag, you get all that stuff, I think, right? I don't know. I think I've seen that. But you don't take, take a box of diapers. 
They pro they can provide you with diapers at the dang doctors. You know that, right? So you're freaking out, and then you're telling you're telling, and you're telling freaking Tina how to drive a car, and you can't even drive to save the life of you. Who are you to tell Tina how to freaking drive? You said, "Quiet, fat boy," because you do not know how to drive. You do not know how to drive. And you're telling Tina how to drive, how to back the big car up. You do not know how to drive. Freaking Bridget, your chauffeur. She's chauffeuring you around. You do not know how to drive, so shut your mouth. Once you learn how to drive, then you can tell people how to drive. Right now, you can't tell people nothing because you do not know how to drive. Yes, I passed my test. I'm just waiting to go behind the wheel. I'm practicing every day in the car. My dad's teaching me how to drive. But at least I can tell somebody how to drive because I'm learning. I already passed my test. I only need to go behind the wheel with the person passed. I get my license before you do. I'm going to feel embarrassed. Once your kid grows up, gets, his, gets her license before you even get your license. It's, it's sad. Bridget's your chauffeur, dude. Bridget's your Uber driver. Bridget's your Lyft driver. Bridget's your Uber Eats. Bridget's your, you know what, your Grubhub, your DoorDash, your Seamless, your... Anything that can do, that can get you food and bring it back and uh, drive you there. If you can't pump gas, when does often you even pump uh, freaking gas? You can't even do that. And you're telling people how to drive? Come on. <clears throat> don't tell people... Don't tell people how to drive. Because if you don't, shut your mouth. And you don't even know what to do. Bridget's freaking out. <sighs> freaking panicking because of water broke. And you're just freaking freaking. You're freaking panicking the F out. Like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Yeah, because you're a freaking child. Look up videos. They they have the schools you, they go to. You know how kids, how to learn the ba baby school. And how what to do when baby had to practice. For when, surge, when, uh, surge, when, they, when they go into labor, all this and that. Go take one of those classes. Film a video of that. People might actually love that. Actually laugh. If you do one of those videos of you going to the baby thing. And they can teach you how to, what to do. Or look at YouTube videos what to do when your girl has, when your water breaks. You're freaking out, panicking. Oh, get the bug, the diaper. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> And you're freaking panicking. What kind of person does that? Calm that. I can't wait when she goes in labor and you have to hold her hand and like calm her down. You're going to, oh man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I wish you had your kid now because I'm just going to just laugh, sit back and laugh as you're paying Sydney all this money to do half, at, half, excuse me, like half, you know, half a job on cleaning your house because the corner dog, she can't clean for crap. And she does that for a living, apparently, with Doc says she's, she loves to clean houses. She can't clean your house for crap. And then you're paying more money to take care of your kid, but you guys can't take care of your kid, and you're at home. You guys never leave your house besides go get food, go to the grocery store, go to the movies, and that's it. You guys don't go... Okay, you might take Jennifer's kids to get school shopping, but that's it. You don't go anywhere else. You don't go to the mall. You don't go, I don't know, to the whatever... You guys have, like, the fair and whatnot and all these other stuff. What do you guys go to? Or, like, the mall or, like, I don't know, arcade store or anything like that. You guys don't do that. That's how boring you guys' lives are. Get out, smell the roses, do something with your life. Stop being cooped up in the house. Would you cook? Because, just because your life is miserable, doesn't need to take it out on anybody else on YouTube or start doing clickbait. I haven't seen, I mean, I don't really follow all these big YouTubers. But not a lot of YouTubers still clickbait. I don't know that. I think you're the only one who's keeping clickbait alive. And it's stupid, dude. Your clickbaiting is dumb. Nobody gives a rat's freaking, you know what, on your dang clickbait. Everybody says stop clickbaiting. But I gotta do it if I wanna make money. I gotta do it if I wanna make money. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Everybody else, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh, shut up. Never the dang clickbaiting, man. Yes, I'm getting triggered now. I'm, I'm, after this, I'm done talking about the guy, but I'm getting triggered now. His address is 142 Harvest Way. I'm going to put it out there. I'll, bla I'll put a picture as, as my uh, thumbnail of his house. 142 Harvest Way. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's done. I'm going to blast you, bro. I'm blasting you. If you can't drive and you're telling freaking Tina how to drive... You, you should not tell nobody how to drive. If you can't drive, shut your dang trap. Stop flapping your gums, your big fat gums, and shut it so you know how to drive. 
once you learn how to drive, you can tell people how to drive. Once you know, know how to do this and that, you can tell people how to do it. Right now, you, you don't know how to do jack besides probably build a website, edit videos, whatever. Whatever, you know, do graphic design, whatever. And play video games. And decently cook. I could probably outcook you, but that's another video for another time. And I'm not going to bring that up. But yes, that's basically all you can do. You, you can't even set up a crib. You can't mow the lawn. I don't know who you pay. A white guy, a Mexican, because I am Mexican. Out here in California, I'm Mexican that cut a lawn. But I cut it myself. Me and my dad cut, cut the lawn. My dad doesn't cut the lawn. I cut the lawn. I'm learning how to cut the lawn, how to do this, how to do that. So once when I have my kid and all my family, I can tell my kid how to cut the lawn, do this and that. You don't know how to do jack. You probably won't even take your kid to do swimming lessons. You probably won't to, to, to teach your kid how to, drive, how to ride a bike. It's sad. You're not going to do nothing with this kid. You're going to let this kid rot inside your house for the rest of your life. You probably won't, take, you probably won't even, you know, I'm going to say this right here. You probably won't even sign up your kid for school because you think, oh, uh, School's a waste of time. I don't have money to pay for my school for kids. Oh, and I, you should you should have a kid go to school, kid get a college degree, cause he's he's probably gonna outshine you. I can't wait when this when your daughter comes born, grows up. He's in the, she's in the play and a drive, probably have a boyfriend and a kid, and also go to college and have a good college career. And oh, dude, but I, I know I know Michael's not gonna allow that. And plus, M Michael should be thrown in jail because she's dating she's. She, He's dating Bridget. He's 32 and Bridget's 25. That's a seven years difference. You know, that's kind of sick that Sydney allowed them to date. That's like, I know she's still a young adult, but Michael can basically be Bridget's freaking dad for all I know, for all we know. That's, that's gross. It's sickening. It makes my stomach turn. He's sick. Look it up. They're ages. He's 32, Bridget's 25. At this point, I think he's probably like 33 and Bridget's 20, 26. But either way, it's a seven years difference. It doesn't matter how old she, he or she is. It's a seven year difference. Bridget, your ba Michael can basically be your father. Sick. And you're dating him for his money. Because how are you making money? Oh, yeah, wait. He's paying you because you're the camera girl to film. Are you getting a couple shots of his videos to film? You don't have a real job. You don't. And you went to college? Whatever you got in college, I don't know if you got a degree or just, just went just to take classes. But you went to college. Unless you were a college dropout, but I don't know. I don't know. But just to take classes, whatever. If you had a degree, you should have gone out there, actually got a real 9 to 5, 7 days a week, 7 days a year job. Because Michael Lee's doing it on YouTube to pay his child support. Good luck, bud. Good luck. I can't wait when you have to pay child support. What do you do? You're going to freak out. You're going to have... You actually have your fans to donate you money. You're gonna talk. He's gonna probably do live streams because he can't afford his child support. So you're gonna add super chats. Come on, give me, give me, give me super chats, guys, because I need to pay my child support. And I and I'm rich, and now I'm running out of money. I have to pay my child support because, oh, dude, I can't wait. He's gonna ask for super chats. His fans are donating money for having to pay his child support because supposedly he has all this money, but he he relies on you guys to give him all the baby stuff. Where he can buy his baby. Anything, sad, and he probably didn't buy the crib. Bridget probably bought the crib. When he bought me in the crib, came, I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, because Bridget probably bought the crib. If you saw the bill, or was it the bill at um when they went to Hoss Choppers where he tipped where I'm um, probably she took the person seven hundred ninety nine dollars and it said West on it. You know it's Br Bridget West who paid it all. I don't think Michael had the credit card. Michael only does Michael even have an ID? I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. I don't even know what Michael has, to be honest. I know he has a nice house for a person with only two people living in it. Oh, wait. Oh, three now because of the baby. Oh, man. And Michael sleeps naked. Sicko. Sicko. You, 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 you conceived you conceived in that bed with an underage person, 25 to 32. Seven years different. You conceived in her bed. You're having a kid with a seven-year-old seven different person. She's not seven years old. She's 25. He's 32. Doesn't that make you guys sick? Apparently not, because you guys haven't hit the dose reality yet. Nothing has really hit any of you guys. On you're like, Michael seems like a nice guy. Well, yeah, when by in person, he has to put on his other face. Because in real life, he's not a good person. You could, if you can't tell that, you guys gotta open up. You gotta smell the roses, get out in life, and actually have life hit you in the butt. Then you'll find out Michael's a really good guy or not. Because he's not. I know this, but I know this by 
just watching his videos. He tries to put on his front. His front. Oh, I gotta put on my good side. Because what the mob videos I'm gonna be the baddest person on the planet. You know, I'm gonna be the beast slayer. I'm gonna slay everybody off YouTube. I'm gonna be the king of YouTube. I'm gonna utilize people to take their money because I'm a bad guy. It's Bridget. Go back and see the video. Here. I don't know what the video's called, but I'm gonna look it up right now. And I'm gonna show you Bridget feels like she's the bad guy. Or the bad person to take take her kids' money. How long was that? Like four, uh, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago? I think in load. Let's see if I can find that video. Let me see. Was it this one? The two the no, it's the one where they went to go. I think it's the truth that come Oh the truth about grandpa's car that well that was a freaking That was a freaking um clickbait. He put like two seconds at the end. Truth about grandpa's dream car, blah blah blah. That's all he did. That's it's annoying. Let me go back. I'm trying to I think it's this one right here. The truth about the truth comes out. No, it's not it. That's not it. Look, they got the stuff in the mail, so it's like an older video for that. I wonder what the what the Amazon guy thought. I'm ready to goodbye forever. Kim? No, it's not. This is the worst driving lesson ever, yeah, because you can't drive. Maybe it is the truth about her daughter, I don't know, but we'll find out, let's see. We'll get a pizza. Girl, let's see. I know like they're in the kitchen or something like that. Let me see. Let me see, hold on. I'll show you guys. Bridget even said, I don't want to muggle like, no, I didn't do it. It's cool. Yeah, because you can't, you apparently you have all this money you can't afford. Bridget, oh my god, I got screwed by a 32 year old man. And I'm 25. Oh no. So excited. To have my 30, to have my baby with a 32 year old man. Oh, probably 33 at this point now, I don't know. 32, 33, 34, doesn't matter. It's still seven years difference. Loading. And this is how we do it. Maybe we can stop. Hold on, let's try this again. It's loading.
put on football anyways. Here, I'll put on the iPad, actually, because the football game is about to start. Here. I'm not going to make this video too long, but I'll put on this iPad I have here. To show you guys, Bridget's saying I don't want them to get me anything. Everybody's rocking. Let's see here. Before, my, before this iPad dies. What's that? Where's exit? Let's see. This channel will keep count nine. I think it's channel nine, but I'm gonna go to 500 here. Let's see. I don't know, it's at 7, my bad. I thought the game started at 5, it's at 7 o'clock. Any, oh no, we don't have. Let's see. I'm clicking to watch the video, but this iPad sucks, so. Let's see. Right here. Ready? It says later. See that? Listen listen to what Bridget has to say. And tell me Michael doesn't have the money. Here we go. Here we go. Why? You're looking at baby stuff. My whole family, your family, is asking me to make a registry. A what? A, like a baby registry. Basically, we've got to beg people for stuff. What does that mean? Like, for instance, if I want, like, a pack of all these onesies, I just add it to a baby registry and, like, someone will buy it. Like a wedding registry? Like, basically, it's like a, a list of stuff you need? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Because I feel like I'm begging. Well, you're rattling a little digital tin can, begging people for stuff. Me? Yeah, that's what it feels like. Bridget, people want to buy you things because you're pregnant. They want to buy stuff for the baby. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a cool idea and all, but I just feel like it comes off. See? She's, she's saying, no, I don't want to do this. Michael's like, yeah, you know, shaking around like a tin can. Because you have all the money. Because you can't buy it. Shit. Excuse my language, but you can't. You're supposedly boasting and bragging like you're the richest guy on YouTube. And you can't buy it. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch. Here we go. Like. Like you're begging. I get it. Like I'm begging. Like, can I we add whatever we want to it? I mean, Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Just add to cart? No, scroll down a little bit and you'll see baby registry. Add to baby registry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, thanks you guys for the blue raspberry blow pops. My see, this is, this is what kind of fat person he is. He, he wants candy on a baby registry. But he can't buy anything for a baby. He has fans. Come on, buy, buy me candy. Buy me fat food. Nah. Michael! <laughs> what? It's for the baby. It's candy. Holy crap, my phone is a rain. The baby can't eat candy, idiot. That's how dumb you are. You're feeding a baby candy? Newborns can't eat candy, you dummy. Rainbow. Can they at least see what I'm talking about? I think so. Blue <laughs> raspberry blow pops. It's candy, it's my favorite, and it's going to the baby. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? We can add whatever we want. Okay, in that sense, I'm a freaking add to the two. Let's add a freaking HDTV. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. It's gotta be baby stuff. I'm okay with this idea, though. If somebody wants to chip in and buy something. That's true. I just, I don't know. I just, I, don't, I feel weird about it. Yeah, okay, I get it. I feel like, no. I mean, I gotta be honest. I've had a lot of people writing me on Twitter asking what we needed. Same here. He's like, I feel like I need to the camera. No. Because you know you're rich, dude. You're asking people to buy you baby stuff and you can't buy it. It's just...
thick. And people are like, oh, if you're asking me to buy me, yeah, it's sick. It's sick, it's sick, it's sick. I don't want to cry, I'm trying to hold it back, but that just, oh, that makes me sick. That makes me sick. Michael wanted, she felt like a bad person about it. And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. Because you know you have all the money you can't, and why can't you buy the baby anything? Watch. Sure. So send them the registry. Just show them that. If they want to get something, that's cool. I think it's a great idea, dude. If somebody buys us something on the registry, we're calling them. I think it's a really good idea. I've had so many people writing me asking how they can send something. So, guys, if you want to help us, you want to send something, the registry is in the link below. But, guys, do not do anything if you can't afford it. Do not spend money if you do not have it. But if you're one of those people that really wants to buy something for the baby or for Bridget... Click the link below. Our registry is below. But if you do buy something, make sure you add your number because I can't, you can't get nothing in return. I got to be able to thank you guys personally. We're having a baby shower really soon anyway. I think it's a great idea. It's probably a really good idea. I cannot believe we're having a baby shower. Yeah, I know. What the hell? I can't believe you're signing a contract in a few minutes. <laughs> Please, sir. Makes me sick. I'm in a baby shower. Guys don't go to baby showers. And he's going to be there because where the hell where else would he go? He's going to be there for the baby shower. Who's going to be there? Let me tell you. I'll tell you who's going to be there. Probably Tina. Tina. Jennifer. Bridget. Michael. Sydney. And what? Sydney's boyfriend. That's it. Oh, wait. Jennifer has to bring her kids. And maybe he'll fly out Kimberly. But if not, it's really going to be Sydney. Bridget. Mike. Because usually guys don't be at baby showers. But apparently it's going to be him. So it's going to be Sydney, Bridget, Mike, Sydney's boyfriend. Sid okay, Sydney, Bridget, Mike, Sydney's boyfriend. Jennifer, Tina, uh, Michael's mom, and then Tina the neighbor. And then Jennifer's kids. And then if he flies out, Kimberly, then Kimberly. That's it. That's your baby shower right there, buddy. Because you like to... You like to Utilize all your money and all your power to get rid of your family. You're doing a great job at it, too. You should be in jail for what you do, but, uh, I don't know. You should be off YouTube, period, but, yeah. Yep. And he's all, oh, you guys can't afford it, blah, blah, understand. Yeah, you don't understand shit, because you... You supposedly once was poor, but they owe us money. You you can't afford it. Blah blah blah. You make me sick. You make me physically want to puke in my mouth. That says a lot, and I don't really say nothing bad about people, but you are one I have to because it's, it's sad. You make me puke in my mouth. Well, I can't wait you guys to see my daughter. I can't wait you guys to do this and that because you won't be able to take care of it. You, And you're going to probably beg your fans to give you money for child support because you probably supposedly have all this money, right? And you think you're probably not going to be able to afford it. I can't pay child support. Sydney, can you pay the child support? Or Sydney Boy, can you pay the child support? Or Jennifer, can you pay the child support? No, I can't pay your child support. They're going to make a video of him. Can't He can't pay his child support. And if he can't pay your child support, I guess you're going to be up like your brother in jail. With the rest of everybody, because you can't pay your child support. And you say you have all this money, and you're, and you're begging fans to buy you baby stuff. Okay, uh, I can't believe I a baby in a baby shower. Yeah, there's going to be, like, not a lot of people at your baby shower. Who's it? Who, like I said, I didn't end up all the people going to be at the baby shower. It's n nothing for nobody. We're going to have a baby shower. We're going to have a lot of people. And guys don't usually go to baby showers, but Michael has nowhere else to go. Where the freak is he going to go? He can't drive. He can't do nothing. So he has to be at the dang baby shower. If you know how baby showers work, guys don't go there. It's usually for girls. And girls get, you know, girls stuff. So what am I going to do? Oh, I have to be in my room while I'm having a baby shower. Because you're going to be there. You're just like a president. All you do is go on YouTube. You just, blow, you just YouTube. I mean, you're like a president. You go on Twitter a lot. All you do is tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet,
this is the kind of person this is the kind of person you live up to and follow as a father. He needs to be a good father. He can't take care of his dogs. And supposedly dogs have have cancer. Come on. And we should feel bad for him, please. That's the person you live up to who asks fans to give to give them baby stuff and he can he, he can afford it. He, and he know he can't. He can afford it. But he has he rather have you guys buy it for him because he's the one to spend the money because he's too cheap. He's a Jew with his money. So that's the kind of person you live up to. Then keep on following him. And if you wanna know his address, his address if you wanna send him more baby stuff. And more stuff to more stuff for his baby and all this. Now you wanna go meet him in person. His address is one four two Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. And he wrote back to me, like, dude, you have to Google and everything? Yeah, because I put him on blast, because he should know what kind of person he is. So go follow him. Go go everybody just go flood his doorstep. It's one four two Harvest Way. Somerville, South Carolina. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, leave me a comment. Subscribe for more. I'll see y'all later. I'm done talking about this guy. It's, it's football season. I'm excited. Other stuff, more content about football season. All stuff is. I have more content to talk about that than, than waste my time with this fat boy. I think he's going to be the best father. If you can't put up a baby crib, you can't afford to. Supposedly can't afford to buy, to buy his kid any baby stuff because supposedly he has to rely on his fans, but he has all his money. And I can't wait when he has to pay child support. Let's see if he can afford that. So, and let's see. I'm gonna see. See, we're gonna put a tweet, guys. I, need, I can't afford my child support. You guys help me out, or I'm gonna go to jail. Please, he's gonna be begging because he can't afford child support. So we'll see what happens. And then let's see if he can take care of the kid. But he ain't gonna be in a Roman out with nobody else who has a kid that's good on YouTube. We're not gonna be Roman out. We're not gonna be any of these guys. They're gonna be a deadbeat father that can't do. Supposedly can't do anything. Because you can use, like, the fat card. I'm too fat to change the kid's diaper. I'm too fat to do this for my kid. I'm too, too fat. Oh, I can't drive. Oh, wait, because I'm too fat. I'm fat. I can drive. I already passed my test. I'm going to go behind the wheel with the person. After I pass, I get my license. So it's like, oh, I'm too fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. You're going to utilize the fat card to the day you die. You're going to lose either like, can't take care of my kid to the day you die. You can't do this and that for my kid cause it's to the day you die. You're going to use, like, so many cards... You're gonna use so many like lazy blame cards, this, that, and the third. You guys are gonna fight over this kid. You guys, are, oh man, these videos that are coming up when he has this kid is gonna be. I can't wait till he films him trying to take, trying to rush Bridget to the hospital because her water broke in the middle of the night or whatever. I just can't wait. I physically can't wait till these videos happen. The people are gonna flood the channel, make fun of you because this is gonna be hilarious. They probably did already in the prank video because you're freaking out. And in the back seat of the car with Bridget, <sighs> trying to calm her down. You couldn't calm her down for shit. Excuse my language. You couldn't. You just couldn't. You're panicky as a mother effer, and you couldn't. So, anyways, that's the person you live up to. Great. If you want to know his address, is one four two, Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. Go send, go send him a bunch of stuff. Say uh, congratulations. Go to his house. Knock on his door. Say say hello. It's already been out there. His address has already been out there. You guys never knew his address. It's already been out on the internet before I even knew about it. It's already been out already online. It's just 142. Look, it's just 142. Look it up. 142. I'm saying it again, repeating myself. Harvest Way, some real South Carolina. I'll repeat myself. 142. Here it is, coming live. 142. Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. 142. Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. If you smell what one four two Harbor Sway, Somerville, South Carolina is cooking. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Tomorrow's tonight's football. Tomorrow my Vikings play. If you guys see my Minnesota Vikings video, go check it out. If you guys are football fans, or if you guys like the Vikings, all my Vikings fans out there, this video is not intended for Vikings fans to watch. If you want to watch it, go ahead and follow Kevin and Cameron. You know what I'm talking about. Check him out. Throw him some hate. Throw him some hate. No shade. No love. Like, 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 um, what's his name? Um, Larry from Dirty Nights, whatever, whatever. Larry, no hate needed, just love. Well, he, he's all about hate. If he, if he, if he makes fun of somebody's death, Doug's mom, Bridget's, gra Bridget's grandma's death, that, that's, his time should not be no hate, just need, just love. He should be hate needed, no love, because that's what kind of person he is. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. But remember, 142 Harvest Way, Somerville, South Carolina. 
Have a good one, y'all. Have a great day. It's a great day to be alive and well. I'm so blessed that I'm alive and well and doing something amazing, productive, having a great day, enjoying football, enjoying life because life is too short. You can't re- you can't redo the past. So M- Michael made fun of uh, Bridget's grandma, Doug's mom's death. You can't redo that and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can't. It's already out there. Yeah, the only thing you guys did was delete the video because you guys feel like, you guys feel like, you know what? But it's already been done, said People already know about it. You can't go back in the past. You can't. You can't redo the past. You only can move forward in the future. Michael's still stuck in the past. Still the kid. He's not going to move forward to his future. He doesn't drive. He's not a good father. You can already tell it already. He can't put up a crib. He can't do nothing. It's just the way it is. So I think that's for watching. Well, <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you later. God bless you all. Enjoy your... Your, the rest of your Saturday and your Sunday by going to church, praising the Lord, giving the Lord all his praise because he deserves it. And Michael, go kick rocks. See y'all later. And I hope you become a great father because right now you're not showing it one bit. So have a great day. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all. Skull bike. Skull. Skull. We're going to get the W tomorrow. I know it's preseason. We're going to get the W and I'll see y'all later. Bye.